Hello students, I am Dr. Tanamay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion on phenyl boronic acid. So you have to say what is the major product of this reaction. So four options are provided here and one of them is the right answer. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box. Don't hesitate whether your answer will be right or wrong. Remember self-evaluation is essential for improvement so that's why you should try i believe you have tried by yourself so it's my turn to give you the right answer i request you student please look at these molecule phenyl boronic acid so it's actually little different so let me give you what happened if you look at this boron atom this boron atom having six electrons in its outermost valence shell you can say that sir these two oxygen have lone pairs of electron which could be donated to the vacant p orbital of boron i agree it is true that this boron has one vacant p orbital in either these two electrons or you can say the pi electron cloud from the phenyl ring to the boron could be donated it's true but still it is actually in fact a six electron species and it is also called lewis acidic in nature and it is actually withdrawing in nature so if it is withdrawing so we can expect that reaction will happen in the meta position because we know that if any withdrawing group attached to benzene ring it prefers that meta means it is actually meta directing in aromatic electrophilic substitution but there is some twist you will learn after some time and second case is if you look at the reagent reagent is nitric acid and acetic anhydride it is also a nitration reagent student it is actually if i say little milder nitration reagent so how it produces the electrophile that is n2 plus let's learn so first step is the generation of electrophile so you can see this is the structure of nitric acid and by the way student never write the structure as nitric acid structure because nitrogen could be in plus 5 oxidation state but it can't be pentavalent because nitrogen do not have d orbital means energetically accessible vacant d orbital because it's actually a second row element so that's why you please be careful in this case don't make this mistake nitrogen will always be tetravalent and for that purpose this plus and minus thing please use fine so this we understand and if you look at this is this is actually student acetic anhydride this acetic anhydride is actually electrophilic means it's an anhydride you can guess from the name so it needs water likes water so for that purpose what happened these oxygen lone pair attacks you can argue said that why not this student it can do but that doesn't have any fate so what will happen i am explaining the phenomena using this so it will attack it will open up come back it will produce so one part will be acetate and in the first step what it will make it will make you can see that this this is oh plus in double bond o sorry o minus and this central nitrogen having plus charge now in the next step what could be expected that it could be that these lone pair put push here and it leaves okay so because this acetic acid is neutral molecule so in this way this acetic acid acetate anion and our electrophile for today's reaction no2 plus or nitrodium ion will be generated so this is the electrophile generation now what happened in the next phase next step so these nitronium acetate actually it, it, it it's actually cationic species nitronium so along with this this acetate anion will be there to neutralize the charge means it's cationic it's anionic so this nitronium acetate will act as the electrophile so in the next step what is expected see at the beginning i told that this boronic acid is six electron species so it is electron deficient nitronium group is also electron deficient because nitrogen is carrying the positive charge but this acetate is significantly electron rich and one statement i told that the boron can act as lewis acid so this acetate here can act as lewis base means it can give electron density to boron and after giving these elements it if it donate this its pair of electron to boron this boron will have a formal 
you can see this negative charge fine attached now this nitronium group will come closer to either this oxygen or this how i can explain so if you look at any acetate structure or now what can happen so this lone pair of electron it can push so it can open so it has a canonical form that this is o minus this is a plus charge so from this you can understand the carbonyl oxygen is significantly electron rich so that's why these carbonyl oxygen can donate its electron pair to NO2 so one option possible and based on that a coordination thing possible second there could be another logic that the lone pair of these OH means hydroxyl oxygen can also donate its pair of electron means lone pair of electron to the NO2 plus now you can say that sir we have heard that boronic acid OH group lone pair is involved in resonance means I am telling that it is involved in resonance like this this so in this way it reduces the electron deficiency of boron to somehow it's true so lone pair is not that much available but look at here student now the boron center is not sp2 this is sp3 because the acetate coordinates coordinated so right now these lone pairs are widely available and free so they could also be donated to n2 plus means this n2 plus is in is, I, I, I mean that it could be donated in this way so what is the consequence then it means that this nitro group means either two way whether by this acetate or OH this nitro group will remain coordinated and it will come closer to these ortho positions and if it come closer to ortho position then selective nitration reaction will happen so you can think that this double bond will attack here and after that this selective ortho nitration will occur obviously through a sigma complex i mean so this is the proton this is the no2 and this is the boron i am not going to other part and one double bond here here there is a positive charge in the next phase what will happen this proton will be abstracted by someone it will come here and it will be converted into this so in this way it will be produced now so question why selective nitration sometime before i told that boronic acid is withdrawing it should be meta directing why this ortho product is produced here this is because chelation of these no2 plus closer to these acetate or OH so that's why nitrogen remain close proximity to the ortho positions there are two ortho position so that's why these two ortho positions close proximity it will undergo selective ortho nitration so that is the logic for ortho nitration product getting so and after that means work up what you will get this acetate will be removed and we will get this ortho nitro boronic acid derivative okay now another question may come in your mind that sir you are talking about boronic acid carbon boron bond uh, is it that much stable or acid stable it's true that boron carbon bond have some stability issue but remember here it is aromatic boron carbon bond it has a multiple bond character means this double bond could be donated here and in this way boron will have negative charge and this benzene nucleus will have some positive charge fine it means that this carbon boron bond is significantly stronger here due to multiple bond character because of this aromatic ring so that's why this bond is significantly stable and this reaction is also pretty mild student so that's why means this would see nitric acid acetic anhydride no heating nothing just it produces now if you look at the reality means comparative study just sometime before we learned that this nitric acid and acetic anhydride produces selective ortho substitution or aromatic electrophilic substitution on phenyl boronic acid ortho position but sometime before i told that boronic acid is withdrawing in nature so it prefers the meta substitution and that you can observe here because these concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid is called mixed acid i guess you have learned it many time in nitration of benzene using mixed acid so it also produces the nitronium plus ion but but student it prefers this meta nitration okay and from this thing you can get an idea 
that you can get an idea that how much electron withdrawing this boron thing is such that this selective metanitration can occur and second thing you can say that sir there is OH so fine it could be uh, this NO2 can coordinate but student there is a issue first of all this boron is still now sp2 hybridized so this lone pair is in conjugation with this boron so lone pair availability on this oxygen is less point number one second this nitric acid sulfuric acid is a very strong acidic medium means it produces lots of h plus so these oh will this oxygen will prefer to bind expected to bind with proton rather than the electrophile no2 plus so from this thing you can understand that this BOH twice this part is capable to show its minus uh, minus R effect okay so that's why this selective nitration happens on metaposition by the way if I ask you what is the nature of this boron carbon bond remember student boron is relatively less electron means less electronegative because in periodic table boron comes first after that carbon so boron is more electropositive so carbon is expected to be delta negative boron is delta positive so this is little different this boron chemistry so please remember this concept also now so let's come to the answer what is the answer answer is in this case selective ortho nitro boronic acid or option b is the right answer now if this question appear in your exam less than 30 seconds how can you answer first of all you need to know that boronic acid is meta directing first but here under this milder reaction condition what we can produce it produces no2 plus and acetate anion so it produces nitronium acetate and these acetate will remain coordinated or close to this boron atom and this nitronium will remain closer to acetate because of its oxygen atom. So because of this chelation type interaction here selective orthonitration will happen then you can consider such kind of reaction as intramolecular type. I am not saying it intramolecular but for your better understanding you may consider that this reaction is intramolecular type means the first nitro group remain closer to this acetate means it's hanging closer to ortho position that's why selective ortho substitution have occurs to produce this so and if you look at this other reagent other reaction so you can see boronic acid will react nitric acid acidic acid significantly so no reaction not possible and boron is not a para ortho para directing so these option cons now meta there could be a question but you have to remember this information that this acetic anhydride means this acetate anion is responsible for this selective ortho substitution so that's why you should know such reaction conditions for your exam so this is the end of discussion so what you have learned today that boronic acid is actually an electron withdrawing group the central boron atom has six electron which makes it electron deficient or Lewis acidic and that's why this aromatic electrophilic substitution is expected to happen in case of this meta position but in this case a huge but but due to chelation with boroni, boronic acid and acetate this nitronium acetate result in selective ortho substitution next that nitration on phenyl boronic acid with mixed acid like concentrate sulfuric acid and concentrate nitric acid results in meta substitution as phenyl boronic acid is meta directing and withdrawing in nature so and finally the in phenyl boronic acid the carbon boron bond has partial double bond character uh, and it's significantly stable and in this case electron flow from benzene ring to the boron atom because boron atom has six electron in its outermost valence shell and in order to fulfill its octet it needs electron density from either from the oxygen lone pair or from the phenyl ring so this is the end of this question i believe this video may be useful if you really consider the contents are worthy then please help this channel to grow and write your opinion in the comment box thanks for watching stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video bye bye